welcome back. It's Christine Ann. I hope you're doing well. Um, today's video is going to be another collection and declutter video. This time I will be going through my lip products. So um, lip liners, there's not many um, lip glosses, there's not a huge amount, and then lipsticks. Um, they're all different brands, all different varieties. As usual, um, everything was purchased without any plan or thought behind it other than, ooh, that's pretty. Um, not really knowing what I liked, what um, would work for me, but um, that's okay. So um, if you are new, um, welcome. I appreciate you clicking on this video and joining me today and I hope you would like um, and subscribe hopefully stick around and join me for future videos so um, let me turn the camera around to get started okay before we jump in um, a, a point I want to make is that with lip products one of the things that really draws me in I'm getting better but um, is the packaging I think because lipsticks are small um, they can fit in your pocket, but they, they're such an opportunity to do some really interesting, creative packaging that you can admire, doesn't take up a lot of room. And so this lipstick from Anna Sui is, um, this is the one that got me started on really enjoying lip products not only for the lip product but for the packaging it comes in because they're just like some of them are just little works of art so when i saw this one and i don't i don't recall offhand uh, what's the website that she's it might be beautylish or something like that um, i was on one of those websites just looking through and i came across this and i was just fascinated and it's you know this black lacquer appearance with the the flowers on it and then here's the lipstick with the floral engraving I had not um, really seen anything like it so of course now I've come across a number of things that are really sweet in terms of lipsticks but this is the one that um, this one's kind of special to me because of that um, just the appreciation of that one's packaging now of course another example of incredible packaging is this lipstick from ZC this is from their palace identity collection so this is another one that I will you know sit on my vanity next to the Anna Sui um, so it has this dragon wrapping around it it's very substantial feeling um, there's the lipstick, which I've swatched already. It's like a milk chocolate, so um, that's really pretty. The lipstick is beautiful quality, but the packaging, without even thinking about the quality, I just got that. Um, these are lip glosses from Urban Decay, which they look like crystals, and um, that that was all I needed that sold me. I think these came out with some other products in association with the, um, I think it's the, the Stoned Vibes palette. So these look like crystals, so I obviously wanted them for that reason. But I love Urban Decay, and I love Urban Decay packaging. And um, let me just show you uh, finally these three from Pat McGrath. This was their Star Wars, uh, her Star Wars collection. So this is a red um, uh, Stormtrooper. So this is C-3PO. And then of course this is R2-D2. And that red dot like just drove me crazy. I thought that was just the cutest thing ever. So um, I'll talk about these in the context of the different colors or, or types of lip product that they are but I just wanted to start by telling you about that little detail with my choice to purchase certain lip products. There's actually something else I want to do in this video which is you know when it comes to lip products it occurred to me that a lot of times people will swatch them on the back of their hand and that's totally fine but really our lips are not the same color as our skin so 
I thought, you know, putting it here might not be as representative as putting it on a shade that's closer to my lips. So let me tell you how I specifically came up with this shade to use. It wasn't arbitrary and it actually ties back a little bit to some art. So there was an artist uh, whose last name was Zorn and he only would use four colors in all of his paintings and they were cadmium red, yellow oxide, titanium white, and ivory black. And with these four colors you can make pretty much the a very very broad spectrum but this is a palette that's commonly used also for making skin tones right so um let's see if you take like the tiniest bit of red and this yellow and you mix them together and mix it with some white right maybe a little more white See how that starts to look like, you know, the color of skin. And you would say this is, yeah, it's pink, but, you know, imagine somebody who has a, you know, cool undertone, something like that. And then as people have deeper skin tones, um, you might, usually what you do is you wick, mix the white and the black together and then you add in these others, but it just makes the point that, this is a sickly, <laughs> a sickly color, <laughs> but um, I think you, you, you get the point, okay? So um, that's how skin tones can be made with paints. And so the only reason I'm showing you that, that one's not so terrible. The reason I'm showing you that is that um, I kind of by trial and error came up with this shade to essentially match as reasonably close as I could without trying to be exact with my lip color compared to my otherwise my skin color right this might even be a little bit darker but I'll do swatches on my hand I'll do swatches on here I just thought that would be maybe fun and a little different for us to understand these products as well and what they look like so let me move these things aside um, so we can get started Okay, before we get started, let me show you, I have only five lip liners. Um, they're not something that I use very often. I tend to, because I use a lot of times just multi-sticks and I I'm, you know, tend to be doing things kind of quickly. I don't use them that often, um, but uh, let me at least show you what I have. So this from Charlotte Tilbury is, um, I guess, I don't know, is the color Pillow Talk or is the color Lip Cheat? No, I think um, the stick is Lip Cheat and the color is Pillow Talk. It's like almost, see, I have used it. Look at the tip right there. Is it? Yeah, okay. So I am going to put these here on the back of my hand because, you know, we tend to put lip liners on our to outline our lips so it might be good to have these here kind of permanently so that's the Charlotte Tilbury next we have this one from Givenchy um, called Rose Taffeta okay and there it is there um, I have this shade from Jeffree Star this is called Unicorn Blood um, I have Unicorn Blood in um, one of his velvet lipsticks as well that you'll see. So there is that one. This one, it's kind of like a deep reddish brown. Um, let me just stick with the Jeffree Star for now. Um, this is called Red Rum. There it is. It's a very... Uh, so this is... This is like a warm red. That's a cool red. And then I also have this one from Givenchy, which is Carmen Escarpine. Um, is, so I really don't have much. These almost look the same. Um, this one might have the... This one looks a little bit warmer than this one right um and and i you know when i paint um i said it in my 
if you saw my last video, um, I posted about things I'm interested in during this path month. Um, one of them has been painting, and then I paint, I use a lot of different shades of red. Believe it or not, there's not just red, there's, there's like 12 different shades of red. So this one thing I have an appreciation for, it's the different shades of red and, you know, which is warmer, which is cooler, which is in between. So anyway, um, so that's it. Those are my, those are my lip pencils. And I'll put those aside and we can come back to those for, I guess, a, a reference point. Okay. Where do I start? Let me start here. Okay. Um, this is Too Faced Lip Injection Ex Extreme. So this is my only lip plumper. I am, um, I'm not a, I'm not a fan, you know, it tingles. I don't, I don't see anything. Um, I don't see a difference in my lips. I don't, um, I don't like the sensation. I would rather just try to do something like overline my lips to make them look a little bigger or something like that. So, um, you know, that's the end of that. I'm probably going to declutter this, frankly. I, I don't like it. Um, then next, I have not worn these yet. I have two lip oils from House Labs. I have these in the color secondary and hue. Okay, very unique name. So, um, you know, how are we gonna do this? Um, I'm gonna do it here, but I'm also, I'll do it on my little practice. I don't see much of anything. You know, again, I, I bought it because it was Lady Gaga, not because I necessarily had a deep need for, um, this is the one called Hue. So I, I'm not sure what the point of these are supposed to be. It's the most subtle difference. And if they don't look different here, let's see, what would they, possibly even look like here right you can't even see them I put a coating on this so I can actually even wipe everything off um, and reuse it I can't even see anything so I don't know somebody tell me what you think about these I mean I guess if they're oils meant to it looks like they're starting to show a little if they're I guess more for hydration and moisture and um, a gloss I understand I guess that point and please folks forgive me I am I really don't see the point in having more than one of these um, but let's just keep going through okay and I can wipe it off there um, I have, excuse me, I have this um, Lux Gloss from ColourPop. This is from their Star Wars collection. This is called Imperial. And I actually, um, you know, this one has, I don't know if you can tell, it has the like a very delicate kind of shimmer, which you can kind of tell a little bit from here as well. What's it look like on here? Um, you know, you see it kind of depends on, I mean, that that's just reflection. I don't even think that's necessarily the product. Um, so again, this is just something to give a little bit, the most delicate shimmer, like I said. Um, okay, let's put that aside. Um, what do I want to try next? This doesn't belong here. That doesn't belong here. Let's try this Jeffree Star gloss in the color Sky High. Okay, so this... Um, I'll put it here. So this is sort of like a gold. It's interesting. While it looks like it's white here, 
it's it looks more like a more like almost like a golden kind of reflection it, it the 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 way the screen looks on my camera right now looks a little like it's whiter. I don't know, maybe you can see. It's a little more golden. A little more golden. Let's try here. Yeah, I think it's showing up as a little more golden, right? Right there. Um, okay. I like that. That's pretty. Let's try our two glosses from Urban Decay. So this one is called Power High. Okay. Okay, so things are starting to show up now. And this also gives us an opportunity to see how something looks here versus here. Let me swatch the other one too before we look at my hand versus the paper. This one is called Light. That's the that's the shade name, Light. Okay. I'm gonna swatch it again right here because it actually is. Um, it's not too far off from the Jeffree Star, actually, uh, lip gloss. Although, while the Jeffree Star is more golden, this one has a little more, looks like also like a pink and yellow. So it is, it is different, and I'm going to put it right here. Okay, so let me put the Jeffree Star back on. Um, okay, so we have here, we have the Jeffree Star, and then the two Urban Decay, and what's this one called again? So, Power High, and then Light. And, um, so you can see, I, I think this is cool, folks. I kind of like my little contraption here to simulate my lip color. So, you see, this one is... It's a little more delicate than the um, Jeffree Star, but I did lay this one on pretty thick. Let me shear it out a little bit. Now the Jeffree Star gives a little more of an iridescence. Um, let me do this one too. I wanna to give them a fair comparison. So this one looks a little more transparent and then this one is you know, really more of a kind of a goldish shade. Um, so I think that's a, uh, I think that's really pretty. Okay, put that aside. And now what should we do? Let's, um, let me do these three. So these were three of the first things I got. Remember when I talked about the early days of wandering around Sephora and Ulta, buying things, not knowing what I'm doing, heading straight to the luxury sections because I said that must be what I need to get. Um, I was intimidated by everything. Um, and so I bought these three because they were very sheer. And I remember years ago, there was a lipstick I used to wear. I think it was... I don't remember the brand, but it was called Sheer Cherry. So the lipstick looked like a bright, bright red, but it was very sheer going on. It was it was probably something like this, and um, I um, I really liked it. So this one is called this is shade 001 Rose Perfecto. So if you just want like the most subtle bit of rosy tone to your lips. Now let's put it here. And 
and I don't, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this in focus. There it is. I don't really see anything, right? So this is, that's okay, that's not, that's not a, a, a fault of this, it's really like a clear bomb. So, you know, I think this would make you think it's a little bit of a pink, but it, it's just, it's essentially clear. Um, then I got shade 201. Ugh, stupid. These are, let me see, these are all called Rose Perfecto. So, all right, so this one is just, we're just going to go by shade 001. Can you see that there? Okay. And then I have, can I try, there it is, 201 and 301. Okay, so this is 201. Um, little more color right there. There it is. This is 001. This is 201. I will come back and show you on the um, on the sheet here. Hang on. So right now I have 001 and 201 right there. And then here is the shade 303 actually, not 301, it's 303, okay? They're all called Rose Perfecto. So here is this one that I think gets a little bit to that color I was telling you about. Um, and this, right, it sort of looks on the hand like, um, like a rosy kind of color. And let's put it here. And actually, I find this fascinating. I find this actually fascinating. So, um, so just like we kind of thought, I'm sorry, I'm having, tr it's a big piece of paper. So here's the clear one. This is 001. This is 201. Um, and then this is 303. And 303, that's really pretty. That is, that is exactly what I had wanted. That little wash of kind of bright color, but not so intense um, at the time. So, um, so there we go there. Okay, so let me put those aside. Um, now let's try. So let me try this from Melt. Um, this is from Melt. It's called Space Cake. And this one I think I got for free. Um, see, I, I may be swatching on my hand, but I haven't ever used it. So, and can you imagine why uh, <laughs> I never used it? <laughs> I don't know if I would, um, if I'm able to pull this off. Do I need to put it on the sheet? Let's put it on the sheet just to be... Um, Fair to space cake, okay? So there is space cake. I mean, it looks gray. Um, I am, I mean, I'll be at Halloween's coming up, okay? If I want to, <laughs> maybe there's a Halloween look I can create. Um, I do not see myself wearing that one otherwise it's a very pretty shade i would love it for my eyes but i'm i'm not gonna wear that on my lips okay now the last uh four i have left are all pat mcgrath so this one is called astral blue star okay um so there it is uh i'm sorry i i hope i haven't had things out of focus up until now um so this is, as you see, um, it is transparent, but it's got that little bit of kind of iridescent blue. I think that's really interesting. Let's see how it looks here. And I'm going to put it over by the other glosses because I didn't realize that Space Cake, I thought this was a gloss. I thought it was like the Pat McGrath, but it's not. Um, so it's sort of its own little shade. Um, 
So now I'm going to put it by these other glosses here. So, okay. Remember, okay. So there it is right there. It's next to the Urban Decay Color Light, right? There's the Jeffree Star um, color. And you can see how, even though it's very clear, it's the littlest um, bit of blue. I think that's really interesting. Um, and of course, I think it gets, I, I think it's cool that like you might see a hint of blue, but not, and it depends on the lighting in the room. So that's really, that's really interesting. Um, next, let's go to my R2D2. Um, and it is in the shade clear. Um, I don't know, do we need to swatch this? Let's swatch it for completeness sake. It is clear like Vaseline, okay? So R2-D2 is clear lip balm. So very practical, something I will absolutely use. Now here is the C3PO. This is called Gold Astral, okay? Um, let me put that one here. It is right there. Can you see it? Right here. Gold Astral. I'll put it on my sheet and then um, I'll show you that. Right now it's on the sheet right there next to um, the bluish one next to Astral Blue Star. And then um, here's my Red Stormtrooper, Nude Astral, this is called. So here it is right there. You see the C3PO one was a little, that's paint folks. I wash my hands like 20 times a day, that's paint. Um, and this is uh, this one here. So let me let me put it down. Okay. So so there's blue astral. I guess is it gold astral? Yeah, gold astral and nude astral, which is. Um, I'm not getting it to show up much. It's, I mean, it's it's almost the color of this. I think that's the point. It's not showing up much because it's not showing up much in real life either. You can, you can see where it is, but it's, you know, this is so useful because here it looks like pink sparkles, but here um, those pink sparkles are a little less... But, you know, I, I imagine all three of these as, I mean, this is certainly a lip balm, and then the other two are lip balms that have a little extra to them. Um, remember I said these are things that I will use them, and even once they're used up, I will keep them displayed. Um, so there are the glosses, okay? Um, and I think that's really really useful. I'm really happy with this with this strategy here. So let me clean up a little. Um, okay, so let's make some decisions. Um, space cake is going. I am not going to wear space cake. Um, the house lab lip oils, um, you know, keeping something in a purse. I, I, I feel like this is... Um, you know, these, there's a different colors. I, I, I'm not sure what the point is. I think I'll keep them to use them if they seem like they, uh, let me smell it. No, there's no smell. So as long as, you know, they're closed and um, they don't smell, I'll just keep them and use them. I, I looks like I probably have a few years of <laughs> lip balm here. <laughs> um, I really like this gloss here. 
Um, I think that's pretty and it's kind of like an interesting, it could be an interesting take on a nude lip, maybe. Um, I like my Star Wars just because I like my Star Wars and it was from ColourPop. I don't want to get rid of that. These three, of course, packaging um, is so much fun. I, I even still have the boxes that they came in, so um, that's how much I like them. I love my crystals. Um, this one's really pretty. This one, you know, again, um, maybe a little interchangeable with that. So I might, they're small. I'll just use them until they're used up. Um, this one I also like. So I like, um, this is the blue astral, which is really pretty. And then of these three, you know, also I, I think they're practical because, um, I love this one. I love this one, um, and I'm glad I did this to kind of remind me what this is, and I'm definitely going to put this um, for my next stop, my stash. This one's definitely going to be taken. And then the clear one, of course, is just clear. It's really no different from R2-D2. Um, and this one is, um, you know, I might, uh, there it is there. I might give this one to one of my sisters. Um, so, you know, nothing really to declutter, but I feel like I have a really good understanding now of what these products are and how they look and how I can use them. And I forgot to mention I'm getting rid of the lip plumper. So I have two items that I'm decluttering. Um, maybe one or two I will give to my sisters and the rest I'm keeping, and um, I think I'll spread out into uh, what I'll have in my purses, and then what is in my um, um, my rotation for the time, and yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, I think nudes are an important category, um, just because. I don't know, just like a bold red lip is kind of a signature look, so can a nude lip with... What you got there? Cheetos? Uh -huh. No, I'm all good. No Cheetos, thank you. Um, okay, so I have um, a few different things here, um, as you can see. So I will do um, both on my... Um, maybe on my hand. It's just easier for me to hold my hand like this. Um, I will do on my hand and on the paper. Okay, so the first one I have is this Bullet Lipstick by Jeffree Star. This is the color Celebrity Skin OG. <clears throat> Don't mind my son behind me. He's, uh, he's homesick right now. So there it is. And... There it is right there, okay? And I'll try to line these up so you can see. Right? I think it actually looks more of like a pink tone on my hand, but it looks more, it doesn't look so much so on the paper, right? Um, Okay, next is, this is Urban Decay, um, the shade Abstract. This is a cream lipstick. And, and another thing I'm going to say is um, I, I'm going to show things by color, um, as I've done before and other. Oh, I'm having trouble getting this open. I'm going to show things by color and not by formulation because... Um, I just don't know that. I'm not that sophisticated. So here's cream here, and I'll put it here. Now this, um, out of fairness, this is discontinued. This isn't something that you can buy. I got this on Mercari. I did not get it when it came out. Um, it was new from the person I bought it from. So there is that one. Um, okay, next is Natasha Denona. I need a nude, this one's called. So what I was saying before I um, 
lost my train of thought was, you know, everybody's skin tone is different. So for myself, I felt like I had to go through a lot of nude shades to kind of find the one that worked the best for me and that I liked the best. And um, I'll show you the one that I use a lot right now. Uh, okay, which is this one. I like it because it's nude, but it has like a little bit of a pink hue to it. So this is a liquid lipstick by Natasha Denona. This is Cherry Wood. There it is there. I'm going to put it here as well. Then we have Wooden Rose, also in Natasha Denona, liquid lipstick. Um, I like these colors. Um, I, I just love how they feel. I like how they look. I like how they go on. Um, they do wear off a little bit. Um, we have to reapply, but you know, I keep I keep an extra one in, in my purse. My sister liked this one so much that she bought two for herself as well. And there was actually a sale, I remember at the time, that it was two for one. So I, I think these were $17 or 20 something dollars. I don't remember, but anyway, it was two for one. So, um, so that was good. All right, now did I, one, two, three, four. I didn't put this one on my, Next I have, um, I put this one in with the nudes. This is my Clinique Black Honey, which I absolutely love. This is a staple. Um, I probably need to get a new one soon because it, it actually is not working well. But this almost comes off like a nude. Um, you see it's, it's sheer. It's sort of a plummy sheer. Um, it's so pretty, I love it. And it's one of those shades that when you're not sure what to wear, at least for me, I feel like this is always a go-to that I can use. So you see how it almost is like a stain, a lip stain. That's a little, oh, that's a little blip on the paper right there. Um, this is Big Play by Nicole Cosmetics. I've talked about Nicole Johnson and her um, channel before. Uh, really recommend that one. So this is this is more like um, this looks like a skin tone almost. It almost looks like the color that I was I was making when I was showing you the paint. Let's go here. One thing I'm trying to do is not press so hard on the paper that I break any of these because there's just this tendency when you're at least for me using a crayon on paper that that's what you do now I have these two from Merit there's been a lot of hype about these um, so I got two shades because I didn't know which ones to get um, I have 1990 thanks babe so this one is sheer and kind of like um it's like a brown tone almost, like a sheer brown. That's 19.90. And then the last one I have is Baby. Okay. And there's Baby. So there they are. Um, there's nothing here that I don't like. For me, it's more a matter of which ones do or don't work for my skin tone. Um, I think I have to go back and look, but uh, let me let me read. So here is the the Jeffrey Star um, Celebrity Skin. This is the Urban Decay. Um, I don't know if the name is. Oh, the name is Abstract. Did I call it Cream? The name is Abstract. Sorry about that. 
then this one is the Natasha Denona in the color I Need a Nude, right? I love the packaging, like the, the magnet. It's so sleek, and I just love that. Oh, God. Um, two liquid lipsticks. This is Cherry Wood right there, and Wooden Rose. There's Black Honey by Clinique. This is Nicole Cosmetics Big Play, okay? Um, and then this is Merit 1990 and Baby. Um, and so there you have it. Um, you know, it's interesting, some of these, like this one, this one almost looks like a beige, and I think you know that's less appealing to me because I want my my new lip color to look like there's some um, life to it you know so I like something with a little more of like a peachy or pink something a little more flesh tone that doesn't look like a flesh tone to me and it's um, you know this isn't this isn't sheer this will go on and um, and look like that so I mean let's let's talk about decisions while we're looking at this so the um, the Jeffree Star looks okay and I've worn this before and I've liked it um, this one looks okay this is more of a color that you know it looks like it's an intentional color it's meant to be sort of like this neutral beige this doesn't look like a skin color I guess I would say whereas this one ugh, I don't know what I'm trying to say I just this one doesn't appeal to me maybe that's all I need to say and that's all that matters um, I I have to try these on um, this one I love this is cherry wood uh, wear that all the time um, wooden rose I'll keep love my black honey um, this is very nice I need to break this one back out big play by Nicole Johnson this is very nice um, you know I I don't wear much brown lipstick but this I love the formula I love what they feel like and then here's baby that I need to try all of these are fine um, I think I just honestly, whenever I want a nude, I always go for this one or Black Honey. I just love them. So I'm going to keep all of these and I'm going to declutter this one. Um, again, one of my sisters might like this one. I'll try it again on myself. And honestly, this one too, I will try again. This one to me looks a lot like this one by um, Merit. So here's Baby by Merit. And this is the discontinued um, Urban Decay color called Abstract. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't in. Oh my God. Did I So, um, okay, that's my decision. I guess I'm keeping all of these. I'm going to try a couple, definitely getting rid of one. So the next category I'll be going through are the sort of pink and berry colors, more or less. Um, I actually have everything lined up here <laughs> next to me. So they'll transition, you know, from the berries all the way into sort of coral colors, but... Um, you know, I'll, I'll break it up at least in chunks. So um, this one is called Exhibition. This is an Urban Decay from the uh, a discontinued color. You see it's sort of a like a dusty pink or purple. There it is swatched. And here it is right here on, on the paper. Okay, then next I have Jeffree Star 
Holy Matrimony. This is a velour liquid lipstick. Um, I, I really like these. I like this formula. They stay on. Um, there's so many colors to choose from. And there it is on the paper. So I think that's really pretty. Um, this is one that I got. This was an impulse buy that I got at Ross in Colorado. This is Bare Minerals in the color Boysenberry, and I love this one. Um, absolutely love it. I wear this one a lot. So you see, it's one of these colors that it's not too far off from my skin, uh, my lip color, but it's, it just gives enough of a contrast to you know what I want a little something on my lips but I don't quite want a nude color so I really love that one um, next we have pretty smart from Nicole cosmetics so this one looks like maybe it could have even this one could have even gone in the in the nudes um, so this is it's pretty sheer there it is. Doesn't show up much. Sometimes it's hard in looking at these to know how to, what they're gonna perform like. Again, why these videos are so useful for myself. Um, so this one could almost be like in the nude category. Um, that's how I'll kind of when I reorganize my lipsticks. That's how I'll probably do it. Honestly, I'll put it in with the nudes. Then I have Rebel by Too Faced. Okay, let's see, it hasn't been used. It's got a cute little, um, look, the end looks like a heart, and it's got the TF there. Ooh. And that is very pigmented. Um, really pretty, right? I think so. It looks, I don't know, the way I see it on camera right now, it looks red, but it's its not. It is more of like a berry. Um, it's interesting how the background, the paper really changes the appearance, huh? So, um, yeah. Okay, nice. Um, another Natasha Denona liquid lipstick. This is in the color Deep Fuchsia. Um, I wear this one quite a bit as well. I actually find doing it on my hand and on here is useful because um, it just gives a different perspective on how the color might change. Some of them do look like they change and some of them don't at all. Um, I am just... I'm just loving this. I feel like I want to make my skin tone for foundations and blushes and everything. Um, okay, and then this is Hi, How Are Ya? Um, another velour liquid lip. So this is, this is almost like a magenta. Um, very very bold so if you want to have a bold lip but you don't want to do it in red this is a shade that could work for you and it's it's really pretty there it is as well okay so it looks like the next shade is going into red so let's go back and look at these um i i like them all this is the one i like the the least um, just this kind of bright pink color but you know I can never say that I will never not want to wear something everybody's taste including my own constantly evolves so um, I'm not so wet I mean of all the lipsticks this packaging is the least you know interesting so I'll keep it for now, just um, 
so I have that option, but everything else here I really like. And also, you know what, it's not even just a matter of the color, because this is certainly a a matte, right? Um, this velour lip, um, is this velour? Yeah, velour liquid lipstick, this is matte. Um, this one's a little bit more of the sheer, this is the Bare Minerals. Um, this was the, I guess the Nicole Johnson, which actually, you know, looks, looks like a nice nude shade. Um, and then, then there's these. So some are matte, some are a little glossy. So I, I'm going to keep all of them because they're all options and I'm just going to, uh, call the Nicole Johnson one a nude and organize it that way. Okay, we'll continue on, and now we're going to start moving into um, red. So these are sort of more, I guess, uh, kind of coolish reds. At least that's what they look like for how I've organized. And so the first one I have is Red Rum from Jeffree Star. It's another one of these bullet lipsticks. So... I don't know if my assessments of warm or cool red are going to work, but anyway, there it is. And let me put it here. Okay, then I have this one from Florisis. It's just called the shade M140. I think the red category is just going to end up being gigantic because my reds are all over the place. Um, it's very creamy. It's like a very creamy texture. And then this one from Charlotte Tilbury called So Red. Then we have this one from Flower Nose, Raspberry Bear. Oh, that piece is. Oh, there it is there. Then from um, Pat McGrath, this is called Elson. Mm. Th this texture is beautiful. So smooth, so smooth. The, the florist is almost like cream. Um, and as they're drying down, they all have a little bit of a sheen, but the floor just looks like it's matte. It's darker and it's matte. All right, then we have Catkin. Um, another example of really pretty packaging. This is C O one forty. Continue over here. So it's a little bit sheer and you have to build it up. It also looks like it's a little more of like a fire red. These are no, now that I'm looking at them, these are cooler reds. A little little towards the like magenta color. This one's like a fire red. So 
so okay so let me stop for a second because I have to go back and do my assessment of if I want to get rid of anything and I think the answer is no so far these all look nice so I'm just going to keep on going it looks like the reds now are getting into more bright so this is Mark Jacobs um, it's called O'Miley this is also very smooth and it has that cool kind of packaging you know with the magnetic this is discontinued as all Marc Jacobs um, beauty makeup is but I mean uh, I have a few Marc Jacobs things eyeshadows um, mostly and the, the quality I'm wearing Marc Jacobs uh, eyeshadow today it just performs beautifully okay um, this is Give by Gwen Stefani. This is the shade Original Recipe. So this is um, beautiful. I think what I think of like red lipstick, I you know, of Gwen Stefani, what she wears, this is like it. And it's, I don't know if you could tell looking that, it's, it's so creamy and you know, pigmented, and the one thing I found when I wore this, I wore this once, I wore this not too long ago when I went to the very first meeting in person at work, and they happened to have food at the meeting, which is the first time in a couple years, and so I was trying to eat, but I was trying to wipe my mouth and not get lipstick all over the place, and my napkin was like covered in red. It looked like I was... <laughs> hemorrhaging from the mouth or something a terrible case of gingivitis so I would say with this one if I wear it uh, I would maybe not want to be doing a lot of eating or something because um, you know it kept coming off and I, I wasn't wiping my mouth so hard but you know hard enough to get food off so it's gorgeous but if you want to put it on and just stand there and look pretty, this is the shade for you. Um, I'm really interested to try, actually while I'm talking, let me do this. I'm interested to try some of like the new Urban Decay lip bond or like, look how it goes on this paper. I'm losing my train of thought. It, it's almost like paint. And it, oh my God, it smells like cake batter. So, uh, like my mouth is watering. I, I literally want to have like a piece of birthday cake right now. That's what it smells like, birthday cake. Um, okay, this is Flower Nose. Let's try this one. So this one, kind of like it's interesting, kind of like the, um, which one was it? I guess the one from Florisis. Here, um, this one is um, like I said, it's from Flower Nose. Oh, I didn't tell you the shade. Well, the shade is Moonlight Angel. Oh no, B04. I think Moonlight Angel might just be the the um, packaging um, <clears throat> or the collection. Maybe the collection name. So this one also goes on very creamy and matte. Um, it's funny, I'm going down my arm, so I have like, you know, now I'm getting red colored arm hairs. Okay. I have this one I bought a long time ago. This is from KBD Beauty, it's called Roll Breaker. I think reds are like nudes that you want to get like the right formulation I mean I feel like all of these honestly this is useful to do um, I think I'd have to try for myself to see if um, there it is there how 
how like a cool versus a warm red looks on me if I want to try to find like my perfect red shade. This is from Stila. Um, it's called In the Red. It's called a lip gloss actually, so looks like something I... It's pretty pigmented for a lip gloss though. Okay, then I have this one from MAC, which is called Rockin' Robin. It's called a lip glass. It's interesting that some of these are starting to um, dry down so you get a sense too of the, the finish. Um, okay. And so there's there's the the reds. Um, they are um, some are more glossy, some are more matte. And then there they are in my hand, right? So starting from here, starting from here, going across, across, and here, and then, um, you know, so I put them down this way, put them down from right to left. What is this fourth one that I did? I think it's this one by, yeah. This one by Flower Nose Raspberry Bear. I, I like that one. Um, I like them all. I can't, I think I'll have to do a follow up where I try these on and then let you know. I think after all of these collection and declutter videos. I'm definitely making decisions about things and then I'm actually going back and using them. So the eyeshadows that I've talked about, um, the cream eyeshadows, the blushes, I've been using things, forming opinions. So I should probably do a follow-up video with everything to say, this is what I think wins. You know, this is what didn't work for me. Um, so those are the reds and I'm not really going to get rid of anything. I'm, I'm even going to take a picture of this and my arm, I think, to, um, and I'll keep the everything in the order that it is. You know what? I even think, as I'm looking at this, I should probably keep this. I'm not going to clean it off. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to label everything, and I'm going to keep this in my bathroom as kind of a reference, because, you know, so many times when you're looking at a shade, you have to open it and look and see what it is. It would be really nice to have this as a reference point. So, um, yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. Okay, I'm very, very happy with myself today. Feeling very creative. So there it is for the reds. Okay, moving on, we're getting into sort of the orangey reds and corals this is the final group that i have and so i'm going to start with this one um, from the palace identity collection from zc this is the color m11 you see it's fairly dark don't mind the dog so that's really pretty it's a brown with like a little bit of a um like a berry undertone that is really pretty and you know I've gone on and on about the outside that um, I haven't really used the lipstick it's okay it's okay baby oh there you are she's right under the floor with me okay oh let's try it on here yeah look at that 
you know, if you want like a brown lipstick, that's really pretty. Of course, as I've as I've purchased lipsticks, I try to get different shades. Um, so I tried to not, you know, it's interesting. Way back when, the only color I ever wore was something like this, very sheer, or I would wear a pink. Um, I haven't worn much red, so this is a cool color I would like to wear more of. Um, okay, the next one I have here is a velour liquid lipstick called Unicorn Blood. So remember, I have one of these in a, um, a uh, lip liner. And this is another color I like a lot. I love it. It's, again, it's sort of like um, a brown with a, like just a hint of kind of red within it, a reddish brown, like a deep brick. Um, and, you know, there it is. It does match well with the lip liner, the kind of far apart. Let me do, let me do this just to... So you get a kind of a reference point, right? And let me put it on my card. All right, what am I gonna do next? This one I got for free. This is a Hank and Henry. Somebody, when I bought something on Mercari, it was given to me as a you know free gift with purchase. So this is called Cherry Mats. So I don't have anything this color in it. You know, this is one of these things that I bet, like, it doesn't look very appealing here. But you might try it on and find that with a certain eye look, this is the exact shade you would want. You know, we'll see. Um... see what that looks like all right and there they are on my arm all right now I have this one looks like also from ZC um, I think this is the British Museum collab yes so again a sort of like a brick red not as deep as the unicorn blood happens to look not too different from that one. Um, put that one aside. Hang on a sec. This is another one I got from ZC. They have a Picasso collection. And um, it's only lipsticks. And then they have some eyeshadow singles. Um, but the lipsticks are really cool. I think there's like nine of them or something. And it's, you know, different Picasso paintings. So um, this was one that I snatched because of the packaging. And that's, that's pretty. Um, you know, the, this is another shade I don't really have. I'm excited to try some of these. It's almost like if you took a brick and mixed in a little bit of pink with it. It could almost like serve as a nude. That's interesting. I'm going to try that one. Now I have this one from Flower Nose. It's called Plum Tea. Um cute packaging. Hmm. Was this one could again kind of fit in the nude category. Um, yeah, it's very nice. It's actually the closest to the Natasha Denona liquid lipstick that I like. Um, so that's cool. It's a kind of a different formulation, a stick. It might even stay on a little longer. So that will be fun to see. Um, now I have this Urban Decay called Epigram. Another really pretty, I'm like, I'm loving these shades. Um, so I've never really 
had anything like this. Let me put it here. Remember this is, these are discontinued. So there it is on my arm. And there it is um, on the paper. Here's my last one. This is the Anna Sui that, um, that kind of started it all. That's the only one I have that that's kind of that coral color. Kind of, kind of fitting that, um, you know, it's unique. Its color is unique just like the packaging. It's, it's still probably my favorite lipstick packaging, um, even over the, uh, you know, even over this one, um, I, I just, I just love that one. So there is my arm. There is that. So again, I, these are, this is like, um, what would you call them? Like sleeper hits. Um, I love these kind of chocolates and deep berries and, you know, this one from Flower Nose was a total surprise. Um, I needed a good coral. I thought I had more corals. I don't. And I'm not going to get rid of any of these. Um, I really like them. I'm excited to try these. I've really been kind of playing it safe. And I think these would be with, with a neutral eye look, which I love, you know, to kind of play with the lips a little bit and not just simply do something like red or pink so i'm excited to do these and then you know there they are here um it just gives you a sense of how sheer they are so um that's that's the end of my video folks i need to soak my arm in cleansing balm but uh, and i'll tell you something silly is i wore a white shirt today i'm covered in um lipstick on my shirt I don't know if it's going to come out so I got some laundry to do tonight but um there is everything I hope you enjoyed this video I had a ball with this piece of paper and comparing my arm to the paper um and I'm yeah I'm totally going to go back and fill these in with labels and um, I'll show a picture of that at the end so you can see what that looks like and I'm going to keep this in my bathroom so I can use it as a reference um, thanks for watching everyone I uh, I really appreciate it as always um, please um, subscribe if you are still around please subscribe I would love it um, this is the kind of content that I try to make I try to mix up a little bit of art and makeup and interesting things and just show how everything intersects with everything else um and uh otherwise have a great day evening wherever you are and i will see you in the next video